What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday, and with Shiny Legends, it was pretty much like two like really good playable cards on Monday. We saw the Raichu GX, and today we're looking at the Lycan Rock, uh, not Lycan Rock, not Lycan Rock, Zorak GX card that came out at Shiny Legends as well. Now, um, there's a ton of different things you can do with Shiny with with the, the Zorak GX. Uh, let's look at the card first. So Zorak GX, two ten HP. But it has this really good ability called Trade. Uh, once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard a card from your hand. If you do, draw two cards. And the reason why we're deciding to play it in Expanded is because with Expanded, you have the Propagation Execute. Uh, once during your turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put this Pokemon back in your hand, which means you could like propagate three times and trade three times and draw six cards. It's really, really good. Um, so that's why we're playing in Expanded. But with Zork, you have the... R riotous uh you might hear me righteous a lot um but it's riotous a uh, beating uh this attack does 20 damage for each of your pokemon in play so when you have six you do 120 with nine you do 180 uh, plus choice band 210 so you hit cold numbers that way and uh we're not worried about trickster gx we don't play any dark energies but you could uh, choose one of your opponent's pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack uh, so yeah, now, the main card we're going to focus on is Zork GX. Now, like I said, this card can be played in a ton of different decks. Um, just because it's got that trade ability to be able to draw cards, it's got that riot riotous beating. Uh, just be able to like put a D like every almost every deck plays DCE now. Um, so you can easily like, abuse this. Not every deck, but a lot of decks play DCE. Uh, so you can abuse Zork and have that riotous beating attack as well as Tapu Lele. So it's really cool that you can like easily have a Zork in there to help set up and draw cards as well as an attack just like Tapu Lele is right now uh so yeah but we're going to base the whole deck around the riotous beating attack uh, of course we're playing skyfield to give up to eight bench pokemon like i said with the actor that's nine is 180 plus choice band 210 uh we, we're playing one of the zarks with the stand-in it's too good not to just be able to like switch your bench with your active is really nice and it's got that mind jack attack it does 10 plus 30 more damage for each of your opponent's bench pokemon uh, so you can easily do like if they have five, you're doing 160 with the choice band 190, and it's an eight. It's a non, it's a non EX or GX card. Uh, so it's really nice if you want to go that way. I think you can play like more of these if you want to. Uh, you can't play more of the 60 cards, but yeah, you can easily put another Zork in there if you want to, which is not a bad idea if you want to go that way. Uh, and we're playing four Zora. We're playing this Zora because it does have the Ram attack. It's probably the best Zork Zora attacker. So that's why I decided to play this one. Um, overall, if you play Dark Energies, there's other ones you could pick. Uh, but this one, just because we're not playing Dark Energies and the Rainbow Attack is really good. Uh, three Shaman, and the way I'm kind of building this deck um, is I kind of based off Mega Ray. If you know, if you're if you're from the channel, if you know if you're been here for a while, you know I love Mega Ray. Um, so I kind of based the deck off that just a little bit as much as I could, like abuse and puzzle time, so we can use any two cards I ever discard pile. Um, compressor, of course, you know, discard cards out of your deck and then abuse via Seeker. And Colors for a billion cards. Uh, we run a very heavy Shaman line, three Shaman to help set up. Uh, we want to make sure we get set up by turn two uh, just to have like a bunch of bitch Pokemon. Start taking knockouts, which is really, really strong. And plus, like, Shaman's my favorite Pokemon, so why would I not have a bunch of those in my deck? Uh, we are playing a 3 2 Lycanroc. Now, Lycanroc is a really cool addition to this deck because it has that bloodthirsty eyes when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon. During your turn, you may switch one of your opponent's bench with their active. It's basically a Lysander, but it's, a, it's an ability, so it's really, really nice. Uh, it allows you to play like another supporter card, and then bloodthirsty eyes brings somebody else up and take a knockout, which is really nice. It also has Claw Slash, which does 110, Choice Spin, 140, and Dangerous Rogue GX. So this attack does 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And that's why we play the two Fighting Energy. You're going to very rarely attack with Lycanroc, but it definitely is an option. I know some people are playing like Strong Energies in their list, but uh, I'm not playing that in the, in the deck today. Uh, one execute just for the propagation, like I said, and then two Tapu Lele. Um, Warned Attack is an amazing ability. Of course, we need those in our deck. Now, of course, Battle Compressor, discard three cards out of our deck, like supporter cards. Um, that's the main thing is supporter cards, and then execute, you can discard that, put in the discard pile. Uh, computer Search as our ace spec of choice. We want to make sure we get set up ASAP. Uh, one Field Blower. We do play four Puzzle Times, so we can easily reuse those Field Blowers over and over again, and use our, reuse our Skyfields, and reuse our Rescue Stretcher. Uh, Stretch is really good in this deck. It's uh, far better than uh, Super Rod, I think, in this deck. Just because just cause you can put one on your bench if you want to, or Shuffle 3 back in the deck. Uh, one Special Charge. That's how we're going to get back our DCEs. Um, 
to shuffle two basic special energies, permit to discover all back in your deck, and of course, with puzzle times, you can reuse that over and over again if you do play two of those at once. Uh, for Ultra Ball, for VS Seeker, just maximum consistency guards. Uh, no level ball. Um, I know I saw some lists playing level ball, so you can search out like your your Rock Ruffs and your and your Zoras. But turn one, you're definitely just going for Bridget, like hit double Zoras and a and a Rock Ruff, or maybe like just all three Zoras is not a bad thing either if you want to go that way. Uh, but we're playing AZ. I know some people played Acerola, but I like playing AZ because you can pick up like non-damage Pokemon like Lycanroc and Shaman and Tapu Lele's and reuse them. And that's why we're playing AZ. Um, you just put one back in your hand. You do have to discard the cards that are attached to it. Um, so like let's say there's a heavy dev heavily damaged Zorak, you have to discard the DC or whatever. But just be able to AZ up your Lycanroc is really nice. AZ up your Shaman so you can draw more cards is nice as well. And that's why I'm playing AZ over Acerola. Uh, one bridge to help set up. One chorus because you have a billion cards in your bench. Uh, we're going with Guzma over Lysander. It's something I'm still trying to figure out. I like the Guzma right now, just in case you get something stuck in the axe spot, you can just switch it out if you need it. So that's why it's in there right now. Uh, one Karen, which I don't know how good it's going to be. It's definitely for a Night March, just to carry the Pokemon back into the deck. This could be an Oracorio, but with Karen, you can get back your Pokemon as well. So that's why I'm having it as Karen now instead of an Oracorio. Uh, one in. Uh, just because you still need to end to punish your opponent and that way you don't discard cards and three second more like i said i'm, I'm basing this more off of the mega ray quasi list than anything else and this is kind of the list i would use if i was playing mega ray uh but three choice man you do additional 30 damage uh two flush stone to give that free retreat definitely going the stand in zark uh, four dc and f two uh fighting energy and that's going to be the deck. It's pretty straight simple. You just put a bunch of bench Pokemon down, you use Riotous Beating, and you start taking knockouts. Uh, one card you kind of always have to worry about is Set of Wudo. Set of Wudo can limit you. Parallel City can limit you. You could play a Hex to try to counter that. Maybe at a Lolan Muck. Uh, but with a Lolan Muck, you're taking a bench spot. You have to get it set up. It's still not that good. They can knock it out and blah, blah, blah. Um, with hacks, you only get one turn to like try to take a knockout. Like if you're playing a set of Wudo, your best option is just try to knock it out, or, like like and rock it up and just take a knockout and just hope they can't get it back down. Um, I mean, a lot of decks aren't playing set of Wudo, but they might be increasing now because the Zark deck is getting it's, it is going to see play. It's going to get some play. It's really good. It's really strong. Just having that great ability, like into one, you're like whatever. I have three right. I have three traits. Of, trade ability so i can easily draw six more cards i don't care about your ends so that's why zorak is really really good uh the attack is like definitely okay it's like a good attack but it's not the best attack it's definitely going to be played a lot because that trade ability and it's so splashable just a dce attack and having the trade thing is gonna be so good to see um one card you can also put in these zorak decks is mallow obviously i didn't play it um it just didn't have space in it it's really good just to mallow put two cards on top of your deck and the trade I'm still working on the list, so I don't know what you take out from the Mallow. You could cut a Compressor for Mallow and just try it that way. Uh, maybe a Teammate's is good as well. If you have a low HP and then knock you out, you get Teammate's turn two trying to find some stuff. The deck is so interchangeable that there's a lot of different things you could add to it. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the Zork Lycanroc deck. And today we're going to see is it good or not. Um, we saw Raichu in it. Raichu was okay. It wasn't the best. But I think with Zork, it's going to be a little bit different and we'll shift the meta uh, just some. I don't know how much it actually will change. Um, people are just going to play like one ups in their deck. Uh, definitely in, in Gliss Pod and Standard. It's something we're going to see a lot of. But guys, help you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and let's see the deck in action. All right, guys. So, pretty gets all cray baby. I'm not sure how to say the name. Uh, play some kind of water deck, and hopefully we go first. All right, so we go second, which is kind of unfortunate with this deck because it's definitely like a super setup deck. Like you have to find like multiple Zoras and Rock Ruffs and stuff like that. But we do have a Lele start. All right, so we can like Lele Bridget to get somewhere out. The next turn to use uh, Floodstone. Uh, Shaman set up a couple cards. The only card I really don't want in my hand right now is definitely this puzzle time, but maybe we'll hit that uh, Battle Compressor, put Colors and Discard Pile, and he starts Shaman too, which is great news for us. So we see Trainer's Mill, go look at top four cards of their deck, and let's see what do they get here. Um, probably an Ultra Ball, no Compressor. Ooh, is it a Night March deck? Ooh, I, I don't know. I mean, expanded, like, Battle Compressor is such a good card just to be able to discard three cards or your deck is really, really strong. And just put anything you want in your discard pile, which is good. Um, you got cards like BS Seeker that could be used that. We have Puzzle Time that could be used that as well. So it's a really great card. And we seem to discard a Chorus, a Getsis, and a Water Energy. Now, he might go for VS Seeker for Getsis. He's only going to hit three, which is actually really good for us. 
Um, because I really don't want to play Sycamore the following turn to discard that Puzzle Time and VS Seeker and stuff. So I'm actually really okay with this play. And uh, he only gets three cards out of it. Gets his does ruin some people. Uh, just being able to shuffle all their item cards in their deck out of nowhere. Like, if we didn't have Lele, we might be in trouble. But, I mean, this deck plays like Shame and Lele. And he discards a Mega Turbo. Uh, he's already down two Via Seekers as well. So, two Via Seekers are gone. He's down a Mega Turbo. And I imagine his Hoopas might get Rayquaza stuff. Is he playing Mega Ray? As w Is he playing Mega Ray versus our Zorak deck? Uh, it looks like it, yeah. I mean, there's a Black Keldeo, Mega, man, there's a red, yeah, so it is. It's Mega Ray versus, uh-oh. Um, <laughs> this actually may be a hard matchup. Uh, Mega Ray can, like, easily knock us out while we can't knock them out. Uh, so, yeah, he's gonna get the turn one. Is that a Shaman in hand? Oh, my goodness. High five. Uh, <laughs> all right, so that's a, it's a pretty good turn for my opponent so far. I mean... It's really hard for us to knock out a 220 HP Pokemon. Like, we can have 9 on the field, which is 180. Uh, <laughs> we actually can't even knock out this Mega Ray. Yep, we can't even knock out a Mega Ray, really. They can one-shot us pretty easily. So this might be a terrible matchup, actually. So we top deck Bridget. Wow, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll, just, we'll get two Zoras, and I really want another Rock Roth right now, but I think I'm just going to grab three Zoras right now. Um, actually, what we can do is punish him with a foul, with a Mind Jack Zorak. That could be really nice as well. But right now, we'll grab three Zoras. Um, I'm going to press done right now. I mean, he's going to take a knockout this turn. He's going to break, blow us up, take a knockout. Uh, three, six, nine. He's already doing 90, which knocks out a Rock Roth pretty easily. Alright, so there's a Hoopa. Gonna use a Scoundering Search for three EX Pokemon. What I'm hoping is that he overcommits and uh, fills up his bench and maybe we can get that Foul Play Zorak in play and knock out his Mega Ray. But this Hoopa might just get like a Quaza Mega Ray and then like he might have like a Spirit Lick in hand. A Drachi Rayquaza Mega Ray. Okay. It does he have a Skyfield? So there's a Drachi. The Drachi might get a Skyla to get the Skyfield. Uh, yep, so there's a Skyla. Okay. Skyla, let's see, does it grab the Skyfield or not? Yeah, there's a Skyfield. So what we might actually be able to do is go for that Zorak play and actually knock him out with a Mind Jack. Uh, all right, so there's a Water Energy, Fantastic Rayquaza, Spirit Link. Do we see a Mega Ray? Yeah, there's another Mega Ray. There's a Seismitoad, and there's a Shaman. And yeah, we can go for that that Zorak play and actually, I think, take a knockout next turn on him. All right, so he sets up a full bench, but we got Tapu Lele, which can grab us Chorus. We got Shaman, which can help set up some cards. He's going out of five prize cards. Let's set up a Zora, and let's see what happens here. So owned our turn, we find a Zark GX. I'm definitely putting it on the bench one. I definitely want to get the Zark in the active. I know it's in there. So we'll Shaman. We'll set up for four new cards. All right, let's find a DCE, some other stuff. There's a Field Blower and a Puzzle of Time. Um, yeah, it's really not that good of a hand to hit. Um... We could play the Field Blower just to get rid of the Flowstone off the Keldeo. And I guess the Bench Mega Ray. We'll put down our Lele. Use Wonder Tag, yes. And we're going to grab a Chorus. I mean, if we had teammates, it would be really good right now because we grab Zork and a DCE. So right now we're kind of risking it, but you know what I say? You got to risk it to get the Biscuit. There's two Shamanists here. There's a bunch of cards that we can draw into to get this knockout. So let's grab the Chorus. Let's play the Chorus. We also have the Trainin uh, Zork. We can use that here in a second if we need to. And wow, we do not hit it. Okay. All right, so put down Zork. <clears throat> we'll put down Rockruff. We'll put down Rockruff. Um, let's see. Hmm. We can double trade in right now, okay? So the thing I'm going to do is Ultra Ball, <clears throat> discard the Skyfield, and the Sycamore. Okay. <sighs> we'll grab Execute. All right, and what does... <sighs> No, no, we need to grab, what am I talking about? We don't need Execute. We need, um, we need the Mind Jack Zork. Yeah, that's what we need. We need Mind Jack Zork. All right, so grab Mind Jack Zork. We'll put down the Active. All right, so we'll trade. And I'm going to put, hmm, the Fighting Energy to, to draw two cards. We really need to find a DCE. 
All right, there's our execute. Okay, can we drop any cards first before we play this? We could put a choice band down. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. We'll shame it for one to draw one card. Okay. <laughs> So there's another shaman, so we'll shave it again to set up for one. Okay, so that execute wouldn't have got us anything. There's a sky field, so we'll go for the trade. Discard card to execute, get two new cards, and we whiff it. All right, so unfortunately we whiff it, so have to press done onto our opponent's turn. That's very unfortunate. Wow, we whiff the DCE. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's see. Eight, nine. Um, so, I mean, I don't know how we're going to really win this game now. So, Lyson, Rigor, Zark, GX. Okay. So, my plan now, that's actually okay. I'm actually uh, really okay with this play. Because what we can do is still take a knockout of the Zark. So, send up the Zark. And he has to deal with this 90x attacker. And if we find out the Zark, we'll be okay. So, there's a Skyfield. We do not care about the Skyfield. All right. So, play it in. Yeah, yes, that's fine. And we're going to put it down to three cards, which is really, really good here. So, we find an Ultra Ball, and we find a DCE. Thank, thank you, Pokemon. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to Ultra Ball. Uh, discard double Floatstone here. Grab another Zora if it's in the deck. Yeah, there's another Zora in here. That's really great. So, grab the Zora. We'll put down the Zora. <clears throat> we'll put a DC in the active. We'll propagate. Put that in our hand. I don't know why he didn't knock out a Zork last turn. That definitely seems like a better play than knock out a Zork GX. But we'll discard the Execute, draw two new cards. Alright, there's a Lycanroc and a DCE. So go for the Mind Jack for the knockout, okay? Uh, doing 250. Alright, so go down to four price cards. Uh, we need to find a puzzle time. There's a Via Seeker and a puzzle. And with this, we'll be able to double puzzle. Uh, uh, get a Zork and end him down to one card or down to two cards. Sorry. So trainer's mail does he find a DC? Uh, that is another big question. So there's a Skyfield. He does not. We don't care. We don't care about the Skyfield really. Do not care about that at all. Uh, there's a Via Seeker. This is going to grab a course, and this course is going to grab him a billion cards. The the million dollar question is, can he pop another Rayquaza? He has to find a DC for this one. Find a Rayquaza. Find a Spearling. Find a Mega Ray. Uh, there's a DC going to the active. Okay. There's a Floodstone to the Keldeo. Uh, Trainer's Mail. Can he get another Mega Ray? He's already down, what, two Spear Links? Okay. And I think if we can handle this Mega Ray, take a knockout on it, which I think we can uh, pretty easily. My Jack will take a knockout. If he benches another Pokemon here, we 100% have a knockout. I think we have a knockout regardless. We did 250 last turn, so yeah, we have enough for the knockout for sure. There's an Ultra Ball. This card a Karen and a Skyfield, okay. Can he get a Mega Ray out this turn? That's the question. So is a Rayquaza coming down? Okay. Rayquaza. Does he get the Spear Link, the Mega Ray, the Mega Turbo? Nope. Just going to Emerald Break. So I think in this instance, we're actually going to be like really, really good. Um, <sighs> All right. So yeah, we're still in Zork. I think this is definitely the correct play here. So on our turn, we will put a DC in the active. We're going to puzzle time, grab two puzzles. All right. Uh, we're going to grab a Zork. Um, and I guess a Zora seems okay. No, we'll grab the N uh, just so we can save our VS seekers. So we'll grab those two. <clears throat> we'll put a Zork in the active. And we're just going to end here. Uh, put our opponent down to two while we get four. All right. There's special charge, a compressor. We're going to compress her, discard some good stuff out of our deck that we don't need anymore. So let's compress her here, and we'll discard. I said we don't need the compressor anymore. Uh, AZ is definitely not useful, and the Karen's not useful either. So we discard those three. We will propagate, put the execute back in our hand. Mind Jack Zork's definitely become MVP right now in this matchup. Uh, but we will trade, discard the execute to, put, to draw two more cards, okay? So we get an Ultra Ball and a, and a Choice Ban. And I think right now I'm definitely just going to go for the Mind Jack. We could Ultra Ball, but I kind of want to save the Pokemon of the deck. Uh, so we'll just Mind Jack right now. I think that's fine. Doing 250, taking a knockout. Going down to two prize cards. Uh, we can save the Ultra Ball for like Lycanroc, bring up anybody, take a knockout. And for some reason we can't take a knockout, but we should be able to take a knockout next turn. Here comes Keldeo, owns our opponent's turn. 
I'm going to draw a card. It's definitely not how we want to play the deck, but it definitely is really good. Um, I thought at first we were going to, like, be in big trouble with my opponent. Like, definitely overcommitted and, like, went crazy for some reason. Uh, there's a DCE. There's an AZ. Going to pick the Shaman back into his hand. And um, <clears throat> we might actually have to use the Zork GX. He's already AZ, so he can't life center this turn or anything like that. Unless he plays a war point, I mean, escape rope, but we'll just send in the Lycan Rock, uh, Rock Ruff. And there we go. That's the game. Um, what we would have done, if I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, there's a Shaman in my hand. We could have easily, like, put down Shaman, Ultra Ball for Lycan Rock, uh, Special Charge, shuffle the DCs back in our deck, and just try to draw him <clears throat> into a DCE while knocking out one of the bench Pokemon EXs on his bench. While he's, like, Jirachi and Shaman and, like, a bunch of other stuff that we, we could have easily knocked out. But we'll see another game with the Zorak GX deck here in a second. That was pretty cool to see against Mega Ray. Uh, this is what the deck's kind of based off of as Mega Ray. And we took it down with our own Mega Ray counter uh, via the Zorak. Um, I think my opponent did make a huge mistake and like over like overplay too much into uh, which basically won us the game. But we'll see another game with the Zorak Lycanroc deck here in a second. Hopefully we'll see some plays with Lycanroc and uh, some other cool stuff as well. Alright guys. Alright, so game number two. It looks like we're playing against Volcanion. I don't know why I think it's Volcanion. I have a pretty good hunch, though. If I'm a psychic, I think I'm playing against Volcanion. <laughs> Alright, so uh, they're calling the Queen Flip here. I imagine, like always, you always want to go first, no matter what deck you're playing. Uh, so it's pretty cool that we're going first. The only downside is he could easily knock us out turn one. Um, we do have a pretty interesting star. It's not the best. Um, we can Ultra Ball for Lele. Uh grass pokemon out but then after that we've got the zark so we can always like trade which is really nice there is a turnator for opponent and we got a rock rough all right so put down the rock rough i'm gonna ultra ball <laughs> discard the fighting and the choice ban i uh, really need to keep those cards the other cards in my deck in my hand i mean uh we'll grab a lele is bridge in here and bridget is not in here all right so playing that one at bridge sometimes does hurt as we see right there but we're gonna grab the lele just Gonna grab an N and uh, get a new hand of six. I'm not too concerned about the Turtonator taking a knockout turn one, unless he does like some crazy blacksmith like turn one knockout play, which is definitely like a, a possibility as well. Maybe we should have Ultra Ball for a Shaman since we knew stuff was prized, but they would get the Execute and a Shaman, so it's actually a really good hand all of a sudden. So we can Ultra Ball, uh, discard the Execute and the Sycamore to grab a, another Zora. Uh, we'll put the Zora down on the bench. I'm going to touch a DC to the bench Zora. And most likely he can't take a knock on that. And we'll shame it for five new cards. And let's see, what do we find here? Hoping for another Zora. Uh, okay, Compressor. <laughs> we'll Compressor. Discard some stuff out of our deck we don't need. Like the AZ, the Chorus, and the Karen. Those are pretty good cards to have in your discard pile. And right now we'll just press Done onto our opponent's turn. Uh, next time we do have that Zora which proved really useful in the last matchup against the Rayquaza deck. Uh, Turnator is 190 HP. We can't eat, knock that out. There's a Turnator, Volcanium. Turnator in the active. Uh, Fire due to the active. Uh, Turnator. There's a Floodstone going to the active as well. Sycamore discarding his hand on seven new cards. All right. He needs like a max looks with some steam ups. So he can take a knockout here with like a shell trap. So there's a, uh, okay, there's one. And just pass onto our turn, which is really nice. So we get the VS Seeker. Uh, I think what we do is put a DC in the active, uh, put down Zork. <laughs> put, 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 put Zork on the bench. Definitely should have put Zork on the bench. Uh, put a choice band here and we'll just second more. Yeah, I should have put the Zork on the bench and then save the room for the active GX if we find one of those. Uh, which we actually do not find one, unfortunately. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. So put down, we don't even have Skyfield out. So grab Rock Ruff, and right now we'll just Mind Jack for 70, which is not good at all. Um, but next turn we can VS Seeker for Chorus, I guess is what the best play is right now. Uh, try to find a Floodstone for the Zark. Here comes the Turtonator. Uh, Shell Trap doesn't really knock us out. He actually just attached a Fire to the bench, but it looks like we're going to see a, uh, <coughs> a, uh, a Bright Flame instead to knock us out. So yeah, there's a Bright Flame for the Knockout doing 160. Going down to four, pri uh, going down to five prize cards. We'll set up our our good old uh, Zora, and if we top deck a Skyfield, we're looking really nice. And there's a Skyfield, so put down the Skyfield, okay? Um, we'll put down the Zora, put down the Zora, put a DC on one of the Zoras. Part of me wants to just Sycamore. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
We're doing 140, 170, 190 with the XQ. So we can easily take a knockout. I think what we do here is just, I'm going to propagate, put the egg in my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, maybe I should have chorus instead. I was contemplating using Sycamore this turn. So a stretcher, put three Pokemon for a pile back in our deck, put one or two. Um, yeah, I definitely should have went for a chorus here. We're drawing more cards, but I'm just going to be a sick of a second more. Um, yeah, we're losing a puzzle, but I think eh, it's, it's not it's not the worst thing. But it's pretty bad that we're accidentally discarding that. We could have definitely kept that. And there's a Zork, so that's good. So we'll put a Zork down. That's good to see. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, so 140, 170. We'll propagate. We'll trade and discard the execute. So here we go. Uh, yep, so trade, discard the execute, draw two more cards. I'm hoping I hit another Pokemon. And we do not, unfortunately. So what we have to do is actually pick up the execute, put it back down, and use the Righteous Beating for the knockout. All right, I think it's Beating, right? Yeah, Righteous... <sighs> Riotous? Riotous? Righteous? It's not righteous. It's like riotous, I think is what it is. Uh, but we get Ultra Ball and Bridget. Uh, here comes the Turtonator GX. Uh, we can Ultra Ball for an Ezark GX and easily take a knock on this Turtonator. There is a Scorched Earth, so we discard this. And the Shaman. Still not bad. We swing for 130, which knocks out the Turtonator GX. <clears throat> There's a Blacksmith, alright? So definitely taking a knockout now. Um, but we got the... Um, the sky foot on our hand. Uh, there's a steam up, okay. Uh, discarding a fire. Uh, but we should be able to take a knockout. There's a shaman gonna set up for some more cards. Shaman is an easy knockout later on. Um, like with a full bench of six like this right now, we can easily just knock out a shaman, which is really nice. We see a scorch chart discarding that, draw some more stuff. Uh, but I'm feeling fairly confident we should easily beat this match. There's a fire going to the bench Volcanian. Um, there's a bright flame for the knock. Oh, actually, it doesn't even take a knockout here. Wow. Yeah, that's not good for our opponent at all. All right, so we actually can abuse the Scorched Earth. Uh, discard a Fighting Energy and draw two new cards. All right, there's a Lycanroc. Um, I don't know. I'm definitely just going to do Ultra Ball. So we will Propagate. I'm going to get another Zark. All right, so we'll Ultra Ball. Uh, discard the Bridget and uh, Execute. We'll grab another Zork. Put that down. Because we're taking a knockout right now. Um, no matter what. Yeah, we're doing 150. And there is a Victor's Creek coming down. Uh, what I was going to do is definitely just like set out. Like play our Flow Stones. Uh, put down the Choice Band. Play the Field Blower. Put down Sky Field. I was going to play my hand down as much as I could. And then next turn we could easily knock out the turn the Volcanian. Maybe I would have kept the Sky Field in hand, uh, but that was a pretty easy matchup, unfortunately. That, was, that wasn't that exciting. But Zork becoming, like, really clutch there. My opponent not taking a knockout. Um, he kind of used, like, abused a Blacksmith system, but then he didn't draw into another Turnator. He didn't have enough damage, didn't take a knockout. It only did 190, so definitely uh, Zork having all that HP, the 210 HP, surviving by that 20 is uh, pretty fantastic. Uh, so yeah, we'll see, you know, we'll see one more game with the Zark GX deck. That was a pretty good game to show off the deck, though. And it was pretty strong. We had, we can use Lycanroc later on. I uh, showed you how you can uh, kind of took that knockout shame if you needed to later on. If you did miss that knockout on the, t on the Volcanian. But I mean, with all the Skyfields and all the Pokemon you can easily bench, it's easy to take knockouts on your opponent's side of the field, so that's really nice. But we'll see one more game with the Zark Lycanroc deck here in a second, and we'll see what happens. Alright, so putting his Titan EX, um... <laughs> playing a water and psychic deck so i'm not sure what this is we did lose the coin flip unfortunately uh they're gonna go first 100 percent always they're playing my lodic so i'm hoping it's something to do with my lodic oh boy <laughs> this hand is pretty bad unless we talk like a lele or an ultra ball like if we talk like ultra ball I discard second more like rock uh bridget get down like two we'll probably just get three uh oh bronzor Okay, but we'll probably just get like three um, Zoras. So is he Ultra Ball? Just creating a Mega Turbo and a Metal Energy. Is this another Mega Ray deck? Please. Please. Okay, there's a Hoopa. Please be playing Bronzong Mega Ray. That would make my day. Like, not because we already beat it, but just because, like, 
I love this deck a lot. That's what I think it is. Like, the Mega Turbo definitely makes you think it's, that's what it is. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what the Hooper gets him. And it's another Mega Raid deck. Oh, my goodness. What is happening tonight? Or today. Tonight, tomorrow, today, whatever. I don't know what time it is for you. Uh, but there's a Rayquaza coming down. Like Keldeo. All right, so we're going to have ourselves another Mega Ray battle. So DC going to the bench for uh, Rayquaza. Shaman going to set up for three. Not the strongest Shaman, but, you know, still use the Shaman. Makes me happy. I'm, I apologize that we're playing another Mega Ray. I can't really control what we're playing against. There's a Skyfill come down, okay? Uh, another Rayquaza hitting the field. Um, Does he have a Mega Ray to drop this turn? So there's a Tapu Lele GX. He hasn't used his supporter card yet, so he can grab a Sycamore. I'm hoping he grabs an N. Ah, Cora, sorry. So you get six. It's like a Professor Oak's new theory. If you remember that card, guys. Have uh, you played that long? Um, all right, but we'll probably see Cora to shuffle. Oh, there's an N. All right, so he's gonna end here, which is great news for us. Like our hand was like it was pretty bad because we had the double puzzle plus second more, and our hand became really good now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we see rushing in from the Keldeo. The only downside right now, oh, no, it's actually not a downside at all. Um, what we're going to do is Bridget for um, two Zoras and an Execute, and the Sky returns an Execute, and that way we have no EXs in the field. He can't take a knock on an EX, and then we'll start prize exchanging, hopefully, if everything goes correctly. Uh, so Compressor, discarding three Metal Energies. All right, there's four in the discard pile. There's a Spear Link to the Bench Mega Ray. Now, if he doesn't Mega Raid this turn, like, evolve Mega Raid, we hit Phil Blower, that'd be so funny. Uh, but there's an Ultra Ball. Um, so definitely just going to bridge it and just do what I said. Just grab, like, Double Zora. Okay, well, our Execute's price. That's not good. So grab a Rock Ruff. Okay. I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard two Ultra Balls, and grab a, another Rock Ruff. I definitely want two Rock Ruffs for next turn. Uh, cause I'm gonna sky return it to one and then uh try to take a knockout with the Zorark. So yeah, we're gonna sky return for 30. Send it on a rock rough, and hopefully we can knock out like a shaman next turn with one of, with our lichen rock. Uh that is a plan right now. <laughs> Alright, so on to our opponents, we're gonna draw a card. We do have DCE, Shaman, Double Puzzle. Uh there is a mega a bronze on coming down, which has that metal links to attach those metal energies to his bench Pokemon, which makes me so happy that he's playing Mega Ray with Bronzong. Oh my goodness. So is he Bronzong? Gonna get some stuff in play. So gonna Metal Energy there. Um, but yeah, we still gotta fill our bench up. I mean, not too much, because uh, we can knock out Shaman next turn. Maybe Lele. There's a computer search. And I wonder if he'll go like so far out of the way of the computer search for VS Seeker, because he knows we have Shaman and DC in our hand. Oh man, that'd be interesting to see. Alright. He also needs a Floodstone for the Keldeo. The Keldeo does not have free retreat, and it's kind of stuck in the active spot. So he's going to put one card in hand. I wonder if it's a Floodstone, a Colrus. Uh, so Hoopa, going to use that Scoundering, going to search for three new EX Pokemon. And now he's kind of doing what my last opponent did when we played against Mega Ray. He's overcommitting, having too many bench Pokemon, and we can punish him with our Zorak. So this is Zorak, or a uh, Mega Ray and two Shamans, which is very interesting, because he only benched one Shaman right now. All right, so Mega Ray coming down. All right. We'll see Shaman set up for four. And now he's got the other Shaman just sitting in his hand. So definitely don't like that 100%. Uh, but does he find the Floatstone here? If he does not, then we're actually going to be in a weird situation. Because we have to hit a Guzma. So be a seeker for N, I imagine. Yes, this only card in his hand is an N. Uh, which is actually really good for him. Because we have a really, really good hand uh, with the Shaman puzzles and the, two, and the DCE. But... We get six new cards. As long as we get a DC and a Mega Ray, we'll be good to go. And there's a Weavile. I mean, Zark, not a Weavile. Zark, come on now. <laughs> a Weavile. All right, so pass on to our turn. So this is great news. So we'll put one, two. Huh. This is actually not that good because we don't have a way to retreat right now. Um, so I'm going to computer search, discard the choice span and puzzle time, unfortunately. And what I'm going to grab here is a Compressor. All right, then we'll grab a Compressor here. Uh, we'll put down the Zora, put down the Zora Arc. <clears throat> Play a Compressor. And with the Compressor, we're going to discard three cards out of our deck, which is going to be, uh, first of all, the Compressor. The card we, no, we'll keep Compressor. We might want to discard more stuff later on. The Colors, Guzma, and the Karen. 
And we're going to Venus Taker for Chorus and get like a billion cards. This is actually really fun to do. Man, I'm so happy we're playing Mega Ray Mirror actually because we can we do these cool Chorus plays. All right, so Chorus for like a billion new cards. All right, so we have a bunch of options right now. All right, so I'm going to uh, put down the Rock Ruff, Floatstone Azora, put down the Mind Jack, put, let's see, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Uh, so yeah, we can put a DC on this guy. We can stand and retreat to this guy and take a knockout and make him fully commit to take a knock on our R. Uh, actually, he doesn't need a full bench, unfortunately. But yeah, I think we'll still just, um, really don't, okay, what we can do is we can trade, discard the Skyfield, we don't need it really, so we're going to discard that, uh, draw two cards, okay, and yeah, we'll just go for the knockout with a Righteous Beating, a Riotous Beating, <laughs> Riotous, it's Riotous, not Righteous, <laughs> alright, because it's Riotous, Riotous, Riotous? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright, who cares? Who cares what it is? Alright, send our opponents. They're going to draw a card. Um, right now, we have a DCE and a Lycanroc. So, we can easily take a knockout. There's a Metalinx. Um, let's see here. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Uh, we can still take a knockout with the Mind Jack Zark. So, that's actually not a not a bad play if we want to go that way. But, I really just want to use the Bloodthirsty Eyes, Lycanroc, uh, Zark, GX combo stuff. But... Yeah, there's a okay, so we're definitely just gonna go for the the mind jack play. So yeah, there we see a knockout, but we're definitely just gonna like easily win this game again, um, unfortunately. So we sent a Zork. But at least we saw a Zork GF take a knockout turn two, which is pretty nice. Uh put a DC in the active. We're gonna Ultra Ball, uh discard the Skyfield and the uh, field blower. We don't need those cards really. Um we'll grab another Zork <laughs> just so we have it out of the deck, so we don't draw into it. Put that down. We'll put a choice ban on this guy. We'll stretcher. Oh no, I should have saved the stretcher. Oh, that's actually a really big misplay on my part. Um yeah, we should have saved the stretcher. So that way we could have a Zark next turn. Um I just kinda got like crazy there for some reason. And we'll be a secret for another course. Yeah. No, I think it's fine. Maybe keep the core. I don't know. We'll, we'll course. It's already too late. We're already committed. Uh, we're just looking for another more Pokemon to put down. All right, there's a Lele, which we want to keep. Uh, we're going to thin our deck down with Compressor, so we'll discard, you know. Let's see. We don't need the Skyfield. We don't need the Sycamore. And we don't need the other Zork GX. And, and, and like, in all, like we really don't need our stuff. Uh, we will trade to discard the... A Z to draw two new cards. Uh, we'll special charge, putting a DC in our deck, and we will just mind jack for the knockout. All right, so do two fifty, go down to two price cards. Uh, we still have double puzzle, so we can easily like do something with that. Uh, just choice ban and via sticker. Our deck is so stacked that I'm feeling fairly confident that whatever we hit, we should be able to win the game next turn. Like, we got plenty of Lycan Rocks. Uh, we got the Zark GX on the bench. We can knock out a Shaman with it. Um, easily knock out a Hoopa if we need to. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, which is 140. Actually, we can only knock out a Shaman, but he has two Shamans, which is a good thing about Expanded. A lot of decks do still do play Shaman, which is two Shaman DX actually coming up, which is very interesting. Uh, but my opponent has to find another Mega Ray. So there's a Field Blower. Is he gonna get rid of our Skyfield? No, nah, get rid of the Flustone and something else. I don't know what he got rid of. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, I, I, as long as he's in us, we have 100% of the game. We got the Lycanroc. We got DCE. We even got Guzma if we want to go that way. But I really want to finally use the Lycanroc plus uh, the Zorak GX play. <sighs> it's just unfortunate, but against two Mega Ray decks. All right, so there's an Aegis Slash coming down. Aegis Slash would make a huge impact in this game. Um, but. It's not really going to matter here. Aegis Slash does have that mighty shield. Man, I'm just so excited to play against Metal Ray. Like, it's my favorite deck of all time. Uh, probably. One of my favorite decks of all time. But this Aegis Slash has the mighty shield. Making where the special energy Pokemon can't hurt it. Um, and you know, pretty much all we play is special energy Pokemon. So. But what can you do here? I mean. I don't know. As you see our hand, we have a Lele. We have, like, puzzles. We have VS Secret. We have Sycamores. We have a ton of stuff. Like. 
I mean, he's not even taking a knockout here. So Lysander, I mean, bringing up Rock Ruff, I do not care about this at all. I mean, we have so many plays. We can, like, like Rock then Guzma, uh, Wright is beating. Like, we have so many outs, and our opponent cannot even take a knockout here. So we see Ultra Ball, just creating double Ultra Ball. Maybe grabbing a Mega Ray. Uh, so Bronze on coming out, okay. Like, he has to, like, Sky Return to Aegis Slash and hope we don't have, like, a billion things in our hand, which we do have, like, a billion things in our hand. Like, <laughs> we can put down Lycanroc, bring up his Hoopa, bring up, like, the Zora, like, and then via Secret for Guzma. Like, we have the game in so many different ways. It's not even funny. All right, so there we go. He's going to send the Aegis Slash 100%. On to our turn. Um, we're just going to put a Fighting Eaters in the active. Um... L Lycanroc to bring up a Shaman. I guess I should attach to... That doesn't matter. Whatever. We'll just treat. There we go. Lycanroc finally gets to play. And we'll just mind jack for the knockout. So maybe a card you could maybe put in here as a second Zork. It's really, really good. But I mean, we played against a bunch of decks. We played against two Mega Raid decks. So that's pretty cool that we saw a Zork take a uh, game. But there we go. There's a Zork <coughs> GX Lycanroc deck. I know we hit two Mega Raids, but still, it's really interesting to see it. You can see how much trade works. And in that game, we didn't even use trade that much. Like, we prize our egg. But still, it's really, really strong. But you can see how MVP, like, egg is. Like, it's such a good card in this deck. But, guys, there we go. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new about the Zork. Like and Rocket deck. I think it does have a lot of potential in the expanded format. Uh, one card I might add in here is a Mr. Mime. So, that way, you can not worry about Necrozma so much if you do have to play against that. So, but there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button. Hope you have a fantastic Thursday. Alrighty, bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.